scary moments on the Manchester Hooksett line along Route 3A this afternoon. Police believe they were dealing with an active shooter situation. Bullets came flying out of the woods and into a building and cars at a Hooksett business. And that's where we find WMUR's Adam Sexton live tonight to explain how this incident unfolded. Adam. Well, Shelley, we're live in the parking lot of Poultry Products Northeast, and right here is where an employee was taking his smoking break this afternoon. He started to hear rifle rounds being fired from the south, not necessarily a cause for alarm, but then he started hearing bullets ping off of cars in the parking lot and thwack into the side of this building, and that is when he decided to get some help. Police wrapped the magazines for a pair of high powered rifles into evidence bags near the Manchester Hooks at Line Wednesday after arresting a pair of young men shooting in the woods. The gunfire touched off a massive police response after bullets started hitting a nearby business. There were at least several motor vehicles and a building struck by bullets. 50 people work in this building at Poultry Products Northeast in Hooksett. After rifle rounds started to ricochet off cars and the side of the facility, managers told employees to stay indoors and away from windows. Kind of assumed it was somebody maybe off in the distance shooting in the woods and stray bullet, but... So things stayed relatively calm here? Yeah. As police swarmed the area, the gunfire continued. Officers eventually tracked it to a forested area across 293, a path near Dunbarton Road and Hackett Hill Road, which is just south of the area where the bullets hit. There, they arrested 19 year old Seamus Rodriguez of Manchester and 23 year old Anthony Zapala of Merrimack, charging both with felony reckless conduct. While it is believed they were target shooting, police say they have not pinned down exactly what the men were doing or why. We're still investigating that, what, their, what the intent is, but regardless, Again, I want to emphasize that regardless, it was, it, it was a dangerous situation and, and a foolish situation. At Poultry Products Northeast, they're just glad no one was hurt. Happy it turned out to be nothing more than somebody being reckless. And police tell us it is very likely that the suspects in this case will be facing additional charges. Reporting live in Hooks at Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.